Andrew, I want to go straight uh, to this uh, Trump uh, attack on the jurors in his case. Him uh, quoting on social media, they are catching undercover liberal activists lying to the judge in order to get on the Trump jury. Uh, this looks like a very sharp challenge for Judge Mershon and enforcing his gag order about yours. Yeah, so let me just fill you in on March 26 of this year, Judge Mershon issued an order to the parties, and the relevant part, and I'm going to read it, says the following, quote, that Donald Trump and any party um, are prohibited from doing the following, making or directing others to make public statements about any prospective juror or any juror in this criminal proceeding. So it's very hard to see why Donald Trump isn't really egging on the judge to say, um, I am now in contempt. Uh, you know, for whatever political purposes he may be doing that, he is clearly asking for it. And I think that it is incumbent on the judge to treat him like any other party. Um, it is, as I have said repeatedly, the road to hell to not treat him like everyone else. Um, and it's very hard to see the defense that's going to be made. I would, am not going to be surprised at all if the district attorney revises their pending motion to encompass this. Um, and I think the judge will certainly want to give an opportunity for the defense to be heard. That is required by due process. But I, it's very hard to see why there will not be sanctions uh, for this conduct. So, uh, Adam, the judge already has a motion pending uh, from the district attorney about comments Donald Trump's made about witnesses, uh, Michael Cohen, witnesses who've been talked about publicly a lot by a lot of people. The judge didn't exactly race uh, to protect Michael Cohen in, in that situation. Jurors are a whole different status in a situation like this. This seems like a matter uh, that Judge Mershon is going to have to deal with in an, on an emergency basis. I think that's right. I think we already saw already in the trial this week him reprimanding President Trump, former President Trump, for talking around in the presence of a juror. He was already holding him to task. I think he will go directly to this and meet out a the punishment if necessary. Yeah, and, and Andrew, it, it goes to this question of punishment, and I, I know that all these judges in the back of their minds are, are facing with something like this, and this is the worst one we've seen by far. This is worse than anything we've seen in Washington, D.C. Uh, this is jurors. These are specific seven people that he's talking about lying there. Uh, there's the issue of what can you do? Uh, a former president who has Secret Service protection mandated by law, there's nothing anyone can do to remove that Secret Service protection. Joe Biden can't order it away. It's mandated by law. The idea that a, a local judge in Manhattan could uh, send Donald Trump to Rikers Island jail with a, a Secret Service delegation of a couple of dozen uh, 24 hours a day for whatever period of time we're talking about, that would be several shifts of Secret Service agents. Uh, that would require a hearing where the Secret Service is testifying about can they protect him there. They will surely testify that they don't know how to do that, uh, never having done anything like it. I mean, I know that the judge is just envisioning, unlike any other defendant I could be dealing with, putting this person in jail has logistical and practical challenges that may be beyond their capacities, which then I suppose could open a question like, do you give him home confinement uh, and, as an alternative to that? And, and in that case, make the Secret Service in effect be his jailers as well as his protectors. So I hate to sound like a sort of hardened former prosecutor, but that um, plea falls on deaf ears to me. Um, there are places in jails that somebody can be kept very safe. Um, and so, you know, put him in a, in a cell with no one else in that cell. Um, there, no one else is going to get to him. You're, if you're concerned about sort of the reason Secret Service is there is so that there isn't some, you know, crazy person who's going to take it upon themselves to take a shot at um, some, some public figure or former public figure, 
And you know that is something that is less of a concern in um, various places um, that are in federal and state prisons. Um, there's also ways to put somebody in lockup for a temporary period of time in the courthouse. Um, but that's all, you know, remember the first step, I think, uh, is uh, fines that are one of the mandated mm -hmm. uh, uh, sanctions. And then a second step can be jail up to 30 days for any single violation. If you have multiple violations here, there are already three alleged violations. This would be a fourth. It could be 30 days and 30 days and 30 days and 30 days. I usually don't do math in public, but I think that comes to 120. Um, and you don't have to go to the maximum at first, but you can easily, what is in the term of art is step him back. Um, and so he spends some time, like a child, in time out. Um, Secret Service is something that I think people have put far too much weight on as something that means that somebody, just because they have Secret Service protection, can't do jail time. In this country, no one is above the law. And if, if it is determined that jail is appropriate, then Secret Service will have to just figure it out as part of the rule of law in this country. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.